Big Z Reviews. Long Shot is a new political romantic comedy film that is uh, starring Charlie Theron and uh, Seth Rogen. And it has some funny moments, and it has some charming moments, and it has some interesting moments. But, like, as a whole, it just kind of felt like three different movies combined into one. I, I didn't love it, but it has some, lots to offer, I thought. What is your favorite book as a kid? The Velveteen Rabbit. Your favorite song? Must have been loved by Roxette. Most embarrassing moment. I don't embarrass that easily. I don't either, really. What's your favorite sexual position? Normal? Front facing <laughs> oh normal? God. What kind of question That's is that? That's all it took. Look at you. How, what, what's your favorite sexual position? Don't be gross, Brad. So this was directed by Jonathan Levine, and it is, you know, it, it's essentially this Seth Rogen, he is, you know, a writer, he's a journalist, and his company is bought up by, like, Roger Ailes sort of character, and that he, like, it's, it's so he quits instead of writing for the evil guy, and then he meets up at a party that his best friend, like, takes him to with the uh, Secretary of State, which is played by Charlize Theron. And, it, like, they, they do each other when they're young, and they, so, like, she needs a, she wants to you know, run for president, and he, she needs a speechwriter, so they kind of get together, and, they, they, uh, you know, that, uh, an unconventional bond, you know, starts to form, and, you know, they slowly kind of fall in love among all the other stuff going on. And, you know, that's the movie. And I don't know, stuff like some of the political stuff is well written and interesting. I, I like, you know, they didn't do a, tr a straight Trump, but they did like a kind of like a, a version of Trump. Like that was pretty funny. And they did like, you know, again, the version with some other political people. And But then they also that they, it, it wasn't too much, like too much of a direct call back to like to, to those real people. But enough that that would be funny. And they also, I mean, like the stuff with... Like Seth Rogen, a lot of his stuff was more of the straight comedy. Like that that's what kind of the one thing that I didn't love about the film. It was like, okay, here we have a political scene. Okay, now time for the joke scene. Okay, now time for the romantic scene. Okay, now let's get like, they kept like it felt like they didn't know how to quite meld them together. Like it seemed like it kept kind of jumping back and forth through different genres. And like but they didn't combine them as much as they could have but i mean i i liked a lot of it like, i mean i don't know how much chemistry charlie throne and seth rogan have but i mean i bought it and and i i like things that they did it's just i, I it's funny there's there's like early on there's some two really physical humor stuff that and they they that after those two they never do any more like, it's kind of funny. The physical humor stuff is both, um, is you see in the trailers. And that there isn't that much of that. Like, it's funny that they, you think that, no, I'm going to do, do that for the whole movie, and they don't. And, you know, some of the jokes are smart, and some of the jokes are pretty funny. Like, it's just, but it's just, it's not anything amazing. Like, I didn't really love my time with the film. And it's, it felt, it felt a little long. It's like, it's over two hours long. And it felt like it could have been cut down a little. But I understand it had a lot to do, kind of. And I enjoyed it. It just wasn't anything amazing, you know? I wouldn't highly recommend it, but it's not bad. Like, I say this would be a good movie to wait until it comes like, on Netflix or something. But I'd probably give like a 7 out of 10. But uh, thanks for watching. You can check out the video play that's in my head. And subscribe to me at Z over there. Thanks. This has been a Big Z Movie Review. Thanks for watching.